today, uh, we're gonna have a little crafty corner. Tomorrow is my sister's birthday, but when you're watching this on Tuesday, her birthday would have been yesterday. I wanted to show you some of the cool gifts I got. And then I'm gonna show you how to wrap all the cool gifts that I got her. First thing I got her was this gel nail remover, slip on gel remover. I'm not entirely sure what it is. They're also touch screen friendly gloves. You can use your smartphone with these while you're putting them on because you do have to put it on. It says for like 10, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So 15 minutes without using your phone? That's insane. And then I got her this coloring book that's like adult like coloring book. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like very, it's called Enchanted Force. And then I also picked up some colored pencil crayons. It comes with the sharpener. So that's cool. So these were actually in the cart that I picked up from the aisle and just started using. So I, I just kept them because I thought they were pretty cool. My mom also picked up some things for me to give her. Uh, some metallic markers, some glitter markers. Uh, these are also Crayola. Hi Frankie. This is DJ Frankie Brash. She is my one-year-old uh, kitten, um, and now she's gone. Crayola did not sponsor this. Crayola is just like the go-to for markers and pencil grounds in our household. She's half sitting on one of my legs under the table. This cat is this. Uh, this is this is my cat. I'm at my mom's today, this is why the cat is in the video. We're going for dinner later, so I'm at my mom's filming this while wrapping the presents right before I go for dinner. So, I'm going to wrap these. Um, just pile this over here. i got some wrapping paper here. I've got this pink one with butterflies and this white one with cake. Pretty. Uh, my mom had them. I'm going to start with the Enchanted Forest, and I'm actually going to use the Bumble, the Bumblebee? Butterflies. The oh, butterflies. The cats are now bored of me and have gone away. That's done. We'll put that, we'll set that aside. Alright. I think next I'm going to wrap the two little boxes together. We'll wrap all the markers with the cake. Just because, you know, why not? Why not? And then we're just gonna cut this again. Uh, this one is fairly large on the ends. I don't even know where. I don't even know where. Where is this one? End. Oh, this one ends here. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it. I'm gonna trim it a little. So the end is there. There we go. Yep, that is the They're uh, thin line and thick line. Look at that. Why did I spend all that money on my other markers? I could have just bought these. Huh. No, it's too late. I already spent money on the other ones. So I'm going to wrap it this way. If it's too long, you can, instead of cutting it, if you don't realize that it's too long before you've already gotten into folding it over, just just fold it down. They, they don't care. People don't care. All right. Let oh. me just take a little break. It's in my fingers. Look. That's a good girl. There you go. Good girl. I have one last thing I have to wrap is the gel nail remover. So I'm just going to wrap that in the butterflies. Um, just because I don't really know. I don't really know why. For this, I'm not going to cut the whole strand of paper because I know that it's only going to take up that much. It's not going to take up a whole lot. So we're going to 
we're gonna leave most of the paper on the roll. Oh, how do you how do you wrap things that are like a sheet of paper? Is there a point to me wrapping this? So the presents are now wrapped, but I have ribbon. I have ribbon, and I need to use the ribbon. So I'm going to get the markers and the pencil crowns all together, and I'm gonna wrap them with the ribbon because the brown and the blue somewhat go with the cake a lot better than they go with the pink. That looks great. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? This looks really good. And I've got this Urban um, Outfitters bag that the stuff came in, and I'm just gonna stick them in the bag because, you know, um, because it's going to be easier to give it to her this way. It's just going to be easier to give her this bag of presents and then she'll have everything she needs in one bag and she'll have a nice little bag to take stuff home in. I also didn't have to pay for a bag. So now we're going to write on this card. And then we'll just write her name on the card. My sister's name is Elise. We have the exact same initials. Thanks, Mom. The card just has everything for me though. It says like I love the shit out of you. That's that's true. Alright. I'm just gonna we're just gonna write that's true. Because really when it comes to showing your feelings, less is more. It says just says everything I wanted to do too. That's the best thing about cards is finding one so the card says your feelings for you, you don't have to say them. That was gross. Done. Sister's presents wrapped. This is my mom's presents. See, it's even got like a little bow on the bag. It's cute. It's girly. It's pink. It screams happy birthday. Mine screams environmentally friendly. Reusing a bag that I already bought, didn't buy, uh, was given to me when I purchased her presents. So, I mean, come on now. Whose would you rather have? Uh, comment below. If you'd rather have my cool reusable bag that you can put things in after. You can use this after your birthday. Or this one, which I will probably end up getting my birthday presents in, in May. So I'm going to act surprised when I get the pink bag.